lawn. That, okay. Moments in my life. I have some pieces to drop off at the ceramic studio. Get some clay and it's kind of like my first day back into making again. The goal is to get my hands dirty and get myself back into the rhythm of like throwing on the wheel. Let's get crazy. <laughs> Uh, but they left a card. I think I'm gonna tape the top and bottom. Okay, let me get let me get painter's tape. Um, Just trying to make it work. An aesthetic. <laughs> hey, right. girls, get it done. That's fine. Okay. Is this legal? Mm, I mean, it's clear tape, so they can't see from the road, right? I mean, it's more legal than not. I would feel. But I really don't want to lose the mirror because there are no parts online. I've been looking. Stay on. We'll just wait some more. So where are we going? Uh, we're going to Still Life Ceramics Studio. It's in Santa Monica, and they're really awesome. I put a lot of tape, so. So you place the hair and then when it's in the heat, it burns and it creates those. Uh, this is really cool. I always wanted to do a moon jar like that. Oh, I dropped off my piece uh, back there in the kiln. That's it? That's it. That's all. But I need to buy clay also. If I'm just browsing other people's work, she's really cool. I took a class with her, a glazed class. She's Look around. And here's all the clays. Rod spot. Everybody loves rod spot. It has that. Babu. What's Babu? See how this is like super white compared to this one? The tones. This is more earthy. This is too white for me, I think. Or it's not my style. What'd you get? Okay, I got, I dropped off my ceramic piece to be fired at Still Life and I got clay. So I got house clay, which is like recycled. It's going to be, you know, you could fire it, but it's going to be really good for me to practice. And then I got some Rodspod, granite, and Long Beach clay bags, all cone 10. Uh, oh, I got a shirt. Yeah. Can we show that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Represent Still Life, natural dyes. Need to rinse it. We're good. <laughs> another day, another clay. And I really need to drive this car. Wow, does she have time for this? No. The answer is no. But I'm here. That was wrong. All right, well, why don't you tell us what clay we're working with today and what you're doing? Yeah, so we just picked up some new clay. I have house clay, which is just like recycled clay from the studio. And I really like working with it because it's just like clay that I can just like practice with. You're a potter. 
You are Harry Potter? How is it back, Lauren? First day back? It feels really good. So good! It's good to be back! Ugh. Back at it again! Do you have a clay pun for us? Um... It's throwing down for real? It's going down for real! What is this? This is a, um, Polaroid, um, XS land Polaroid camera. It, this is um, touted as a compact Polaroid because so last time um, I threw, I threw three different pots. This is the smaller one and uh, I had it wrapped up in uh, plastic overnight so that it dries slowly and you want basically a leather hard consistency in order for you to trim, nothing too wet, nothing too dry. This one I think I might turn into plant pot because why not? And then this one, I made a handle. I'm not the best at making handles, but I'm going to make it into a ginormous mug for coffee and, and or tea. So I'm just going to start trimming. good. I just gave uh, my pots really nice haircuts. They're looking really fresh and smooth. Uh, I still have to put a handle on one of the mugs. Not my favorite thing to do, but someone's got to do it. And uh, I'm just really happy to make something. We'll let it dry. Go to Bisque. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. Oh yeah, I'm just your local pot dealer. <laughs> nice.